teach an ancient Egyptian. You might be imagining the pharaoh. Tutankhamun was his 3,300 year old golden man. Ancient Egyptian were deeply religious people, and this was shown in much of the society. Tutankhamun himself was named after Amun, the god of the sun and air. Tutankhamun literally means the living imagery of Amun. Tutankhamun was one of the youngest pharaohs, taking power at the age of nine, then just ten years later. This is why he is also called the Boring King. Tutankhamun didn't have much influence on Egypt during his short reign, so why he is the most famous pharaoh of air. In 1922, British archaeologist Hall Carter made a dramatic discovery where he found Tutankhamun's tomb packed full of treasures. The most famous is the pharaoh's mask, which is made of solid gold and weights over 10 kilograms. These treasures tell us many stories of ancient Egypt. This is what has made Tutankhamun the most famous pharaoh of all. Over the years, Tutankhamun's early death has remained a mystery. Many experts have had many beliefs, from a broken leg to a chair accident. However, none of these beliefs have proven conclusive and we will probably never know the real reason behind the pharaoh's death. It's likely, though, that Tutankhamun was born with a major illness that caused his early death. The pharaoh's death isn't the only interesting death related to Tutankhamun. Since the discovery of his tomb, people have talked about the curse of the pharaohs, in 1923, Lord Caldwell was one of the first people to enter the tomb. Two months later, he died from a mosquito bite. A considerable number of other people who had been in the tomb also died from illnesses. As a result, newspapers began to write stories claiming that whoever disturbs the tomb will soon die. Next year marks 100 years since the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb. The mysteries of the ancient pharaoh continue to interest people around the world to this day.